guys I've just finished most of the work here for Yet Hardy you must notice that I already complete this part of the butterfly almost complete this part or two and I painted I kind of give it a gave it a, a lipstick here black lipstick um, just go with the blur tool a little smudge tool too and kind of drag it a little so it looks more realistic change the fill a little bit till you find it and you see for those of you who don't get how to paint the lips okay here is my lips so now I'm gonna select a new layer mm, I'm gonna name it lipstick tutorial and I'm gonna zoom out zoom in sorry and select this button here which is edit in quick mask mode and select the brush tool. Now that I selected the brush tool, I'm gonna draw inside the lips area, being careful I'm not going out. And then just fill in with this mask in here and there we go so now that we are finished we're just gonna go ahead and click the button again and it's gonna select everything in the layer except for the part we colored so now I'm gonna hit shift command I with select inverse and now I got selected the lips so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the brush tool and start coloring this black notice that the, in the brush tool is got an opacity of seven seventy percent I'm just gonna load this to 30% and I'm gonna draw again maybe again okay no, I didn't like that so I just gonna fill it again do not release the mouse button or else you're gonna be drawing and drawing and it's gonna get dark and darker sorry and okay now we get this kind of lipstick we're gonna increase this to 75% 76 74 and I'm gonna draw sorry I'm just gonna go here by the edges and and make sure we just get the edges just to make it just to make it look a little bit more like like lipstick and uh, no I actually didn't like this the last one mm, you know set the opacity back to 35 and I'm gonna go here and draw this line two times again and these over here too okay so I now deselected and you most notice that it's not even close to perfect but here is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the blur tool and blur down the edges then select this much tool and kind of it was too hard I'm gonna 
decrease the size of the brush and kind of start smushing this down, giving this the edges a little smudge here. Okay, and there we go. I don't know why it keeps staying down to that last one, but okay. So now we go here with the smudge tool. We change down to lips, and I think it's part of the background. Actually, it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge that too. Okay, so I now take out some zoom and you'll notice that this looks like a realistic lipstick. Okay, we're almost done. I've spent two, almost two hours and a half on this. But you'll see at the end it's gonna, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, now, mm, just to finish up this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you guys how to turn the face, the, the hair. Just select the lasso tool or uh, make a quick mask uh, selection and, and drag this. Sorry. Now here we go and drag this all the way down here and here we're gonna use almost the same technique as I've done with the with the lips so I select the hair here okay and now I Get the brush tool and the size of 39. Yeah, I think 39 is going to be fine. And looking out some some paints in here, I just realized that he had the the hair very dark in this part, but in this part he had it blonde and almost blue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn this part of the hair really black, really dark in this part. Enough just to, s to be seen, but not too much so it loses the the lines of the hair that actually makes it look like hair. Other way, otherwise, you won't be able to tell it is hair anymore, and we do not want that. Okay, so I'm gonna go and start painting this part of the hair just like this. So you see here, he's got it, and it's kind of the, the roots of the hair are still blonde. I know it's not natural blonde, right? But come on, let's do this as, as good as we can. So now, here and here, you see that it's got a little blue on that part. So I'm just gonna turn this a little more a little bit more dark a little bit darker and okay now I'm going to go with eye and select this the eyedropper tool and select this blonde part. Okay now I select the blonde and start taking this again like this and painting just a little few selections in here the edges 
a little bit on the edges and and there we go so now I deselect this you see that I, I got it almost done the problem here is going to be the texture for most parts of the hair are like this and we do not want them to look like that because this this is really really red so we're gonna do the exact same for those just let me finish with this blur in here you know increase the size added some blur here in the hair and there we go now that we got it the blur we add as much with the um, 14 okay and now I'm gonna zoom in Let's select this notch tool again. The problem you'll notice here is that actually this this uh, layer is got this part uh, actually is like is the, 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 this one. So now I'm trying. I'm gonna try and add a little bit of the forehead into the head, into the hair, and make it look good. So there we go, and the forehead on the right side. And we zoom out, and there it is. There's Jeff Hardy okay and if, um, this is going to be all for the tutorial this is going to be uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you really liked it and I hope you it's and I hope it will be useful for you Um, just I wanted to add a little uh, uh, a, a short thing Um, you know I I you might think this was hard but this 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 texturing it's not that hard uh, I mean you just have to get intuitive on this and and this is the this isn't the hardest the hardest texture I've made um, I consider that the rock band and one night stand was harder and one one thing that I consider really peculiar is that some guy uh, I th I've seen in the forum named Patchy? It's claiming the texture to be of his own make. But I, I mean, I'm not mad. Come on, I, I just you can do your own texture, man. Do not steal anybody's persons I'm sure you can do your own textures and and I'm sure they would be great so please do not steal my textures um, I'm doing this to to contribute and to help you out help you guys out and uh, I hope you like this okay okay see you next time